What's up my Kiss Universe? It is Jay with Earthly Kisses coming today with a bit of an experiment. Um, I'm making uh, another batch of my black soap and I ain't got time to wait for my oils to melt and my lot to cool off. So, I am going to try uh, I don't know the name of the method, but whatever it is, you uh, take your freshly made lye and you pour it over your oils to help melt your oils and you go ahead and soap. Okay, so I chose to use my black soap uh, as a good recipe for this to test it. Um, I know that my batter will be pretty loose. It's just a simple drop swirl. Uh, so I'm not worried about anything there. I know my fragrance doesn't accelerate trace or anything. So if this method does not go right, it is strictly user error from using my lie too hot and not getting my oils where they need to be. So yeah. that's what this is we're doing today. So as you can see, those are my oils and all I have in there really that needs to be melted is my shea butter so this method should work okay so I was just checking my line make sure everything is good um, my uh, my silk is fully dissolved now so I can go ahead and get the party started so let me grab my stick if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate you. I hope you enjoy the content that I am putting out. If there's something that you're interested in seeing me make or a technique you want me to try, leave me a comment down below. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, don't forget to hit thumbs up to give me some boost on YouTube and to hit the little bell so you can be notified of all my new content. I am currently putting out videos at least once a week starting at the beginning of the week and more videos in between as time allows. Okay so now that we got those particulars out of the way let's get this lie in here and I'm just using my stick to stir. I'm trying my best my best 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 not to make a lot of dishes many of us soapers hate that part of the process Me especially, I don't like washing regular dishes, let alone soapy dishes. <laughs> okay, so that's in there. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, that lie should be good and hot. It's only been in been in the jug long enough to uh like I said long enough to melt that silk because I'm tired. I worked today. It was a really rough day. And I'm ready to soap, eat my dinner, and go to bed. So I can get up in the morning. I have a really long commute in the morning. Um, so yeah, this is still rather warm. So we will see if this will work. I guess I should have broke some of these chunks up first. Or maybe not add as uh, all of my oils to this uh, but it does appear to be melting um, I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are like I said I had a rough one today 
you know I deal with people on the phone doctor's offices and such and you know some people are just really not nice like the first phone call of the day the lady wanted to argue on the phone and first of all let me tell you I'm not gonna argue with you I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm just moving this around to help this melt um I'm not gonna argue on the phone with you okay we all get up in the morning to go do a job and we don't expect to be abused by people while we're in the midst of doing the job however it is that our employer tells us to do the job and while I may understand that uh, you know things may not be going the way you planned or the way you expected that still is no right to abuse somebody who's just trying to help you achieve what it is that you're trying to achieve so that's how my day started out but I made it through I'm unscathed and you know I try not to let people bother me too much not too much yeah so um I don't know if I like this process <laughs> Uh, to me it would seem like this process could have been uh, achieved as well by just waiting for my lies to, to cool off and mix it and just I don't know I don't know guys I'm just impatient today because I'm tired uh, I gotta get myself situated for work tomorrow I'm for the most part I work from home um, but tomorrow's one of my days that I'll have to go into the office and uh, it's no fun it's a really long commute weather here in Chicago is not nice right now um, my husband uh, he had to go to a training a little ways past my job today and it took him two and a half hours to get there the weather was really bad today so I'm not looking forward to that in the morning which is another reason why I'm trying to hurry and get this done so I can get to bed because I have to get up extra extra early tomorrow I make sure I don't have any issues because while the roads seem to be okay for now it may snow more um, it's still snowing really light flurries but it's still snowing yeah so this is just like I said this is gonna be a simple soap and if you could see some of this that I got going on in the background I ordered uh, another set of the nurture mystery mica and let me tell you if you are like me and can never decide on what colors you should get I'm telling you get the mystery Micah set you will not you will not be disappointed I mean they do their best to try to send you a full spectrum all colors of the rainbow this is my second set and um, even in the first set I had colors from white all the way down to black um so um and they send you colors i mean colors that i would have never even dreamed i mean some of these colors i've seen them on the side i'll look i went straight past them, like vroom, next and <laughs> and now i'm thinking to myself like dang i should have went on here and got that michael because you know now that i have it in person and i see it and everything it's like man i could have made some awesome soap with it but i guess what i will now Yeah, so this is still going. Um, it's not as hot anymore. Um, I'm down to 105 now as far as my temp, but amazingly enough, this is still enough to get this shea butter going. Um, Cause it's still melting. Okay, so my video died on me while I'm doing this. I don't know what in the world you guys missed. But as you can see, I'm down to my last few chunks here. I am just about ready to bust out my stick blender. Um, 
I guess this process is okay. Um, it is, I, I would say overall, I, I was skeptical at first. I didn't think this was going to melt uh, this fast. And it probably would have been faster if I had not put all of my oils for the batch in here. Um, so yeah, it's, it's faster than waiting for the light to cool off totally. Um, my video cut off, it only records at like 9 minutes and some odd seconds at a time, uh, before the video cuts off. Um, so it hasn't quite been 10 minutes yet from the time that I added the lye. And I'm telling you, this soap is going to be fabulous. I can see the silk in the oils. Oh, it's gorgeous already I know you can't see it I can see it I know the difference of what the batter looks like when I have my uh, my tuss in here compared to when I don't have it in here okay all right so yeah I'm down to my last two little teeny tiny chunks on there so we are about ready to go so while those last little tidbits melt off in there I'm gonna go ahead and add in my kale and clay absolutely love kale and clay if you do not use kale and clay in your soaps I just have to ask why <laughs> it makes the skin feel so good it makes the soap slide so well I mean it is just fabulous okay so I'm going to attempt to get all of the last little shea butter chunks down here in the bell start those first as I give this a little zipper and then I'm gonna come back and get that clay all right now come back and get this clay out the bowl in there I'm sorry my hand is in the way all the time I'm so sorry guys like I need a new video set up um, yeah I definitely need a new video camera set up um, I'm working on that guys because I'm tired of this tripod I'm tired of this tripod um, I just cannot get the angle that I want it doesn't come up high enough you know I want you guys to be able to really see everything that I'm doing without me having to use glass okay so we're gonna call that good and split that off mm, so yummy this fragrance smells so good. All right. I didn't leave myself anywhere to sit this gosh darn thing. So I'm just going to sit it right in the mold. No worries about that. Let's measure off some oils. I mean, some soap batter. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna call that good. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, that's good. All right. All right. So these are two jugs here and this is still you know some one more not buy it though but as you can see my batter is still very fluid 
we're still gonna have two tons of fun even though we're gonna do just two darn colors and you know who would have thought colors like white and black could have so much pop and pizzazz and class so we're gonna put some fragrance oil just kitty bead in there rest in there all right now to color our soap we're going to do a little bit of titanium dioxide on one side and on this side we're going to put some activated charcoal and we're going to use like that much charcoal and then we're going to use some of this. this is one of those colors I got in my mystery mica set today this is nocturnal if the camera would focus is nocturnal nocturnal mica and this gives a really nice black it also has some uh shimmer shimmer to it i don't know if you can see that but yeah we're gonna add some of that in there we want a really nice rich deep dark black now from what i've read on the reviews on this color which there wasn't very many i'm surprised um uh but from what i read with this color um it has some shimmer in it in the in the jar it looks like but uh they say it it's a good matte black it doesn't have a whole lot of shimmer in it so hopefully that is what we will achieve here that's what we're going for a nice ooh deep dark black what you think i think that's what we got there with the combination of the activated charcoal for some extra extra pour loving concoction there all right so that's all good and then i only got a little bit of titanium dioxide hopefully that'll be enough to get that going And we're going to give this a stick first before I add any more of that. Um, because sometimes you can have too much. Because you can't really see whether you have enough unless you got a good blend going on. And you're not going to get that from stirring with no spatula, okay? For all you newbies out there, if you're using titanium dioxide and your bladder is full like this it's okay hit it with a hit it with a couple of bursts and see how white the soap comes up from the bottom and that should give you a good gauge on if you got enough titanium in this case i don't Now I do. Mm -hmm. Let's see, there you go. That's the white. I'm just gonna put just a smidget more and call that good. All right. Gonna call that good. Move that over to the side out of the way okay here go the walls with the camera I'm trying my best to film these cameras the, uh, these cameras uh, film these videos in HD so you guys can have the best possibly uh, quality image on your screens but my camera only records the HD the super duper HD um nine minutes at a time 
and it's a bummer when I'm going and I'm soaping because it cuts off and it gives me no warning that it's gonna cut uh, that it stopped recording or anything I just hear the beep when the camera goes off which is sometime after it stops recording so <sighs> okay so there's our black that's looking wonderful here's our white that's looking wonderful so let's get to pouring make sure you can see me there all right so here we go now this process is not going to take that long because it's just a simple drop swirl Ooh, it's so creamy. All right. Don't worry about the mess. I'm not worried about it until I'm done. I'm tired. I'm ready to be out of here. those squirrels on the top this is gonna be fabulous mm -hmm. if I could keep it in the mold in the mold not everywhere else but in the mold okay Running out of the white there. All right, let's get this last of the black in. reason to the top because the top is just a spoon texture so it and it's a man soap so it don't have to be all pretty frilly and stuff although it will still look great you gotta make sure you get all of that yummy goodness in the mold as much as we possibly can the last of the white now don't worry about this bowing I got a my little makeshift brace that I made for this mold I tried to buy uh, a wooden support something that's more sturdy so I can really bang real good um, speaking of banging, I have not banged this mold yet. <laughs> Let's do that now. Although I don't really think I need to. It's so fluid. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, I tried to buy a brace for it. And while my molds fit in it, it makes it do a bowing inward instead of outward. It's like, ooh, what's the lesser of the two evils here? I'm 
my honey's got hungry. He's waiting on me to finish this soap so we can have dinner. He always waits for me to have dinner. He can be a sweetheart sometimes. I guess that's why I married him. All right. So we got all of that in there. Yep, he's grabbing a plate. He's a hungry. He's tired of waiting on me. All right. So we got all of that on my, in the mold um, while I wait for this to set up a bit so I can texture the top. Uh, I'm going to pause it, do some cleanup on our nine, put the brace on, and I'll bring it back. All right. So I'm back. Cleaned up a bit. I sprayed some alcohol across the top. Um, it's my understanding that that can help the soap to set up faster. Um, never tried before. I just usually just waited, but I don't know how many times I said this, y'all. I'm tired. So, um, let's see if we can do something with this here. I don't know, it still might be a little too loose yet. The very top of it has uh, toughened up a bit, but uh, I don't know. It just might have to be whatever it's going to be. Cause see, you see that is still very fluid. Um, I will tell you that's a cool effect is doing as it drags the colors across like that. <sighs> I tell you what, I'm not gonna fool with it today. It's just gonna be like a little swirly do or something. I know guys don't care about that, but that is what it's going to be. Cause I sleepy. I do like how it drug the colors through. See like that very top section hardened. Maybe if I had just been patient and waited. Um, but I have none right now. Um, so that is that. I'm not going for any type of pattern or anything. I'm just trying to leave a texture whatever type of texture I can um yeah I give I sleepy y'all <laughs> I just don't have the energy today okay so that is the top of the black soap get a little close up Swirly, swirly. Not my intentions, but that's what we got. All right, guys. Until we cut this bad bugger open. Ta-ta for now. All right, my lovelies. I am back to cut the black soap. Well... This one did not turn out the way that I expected. Um, I would have preferred for it to be wider. Um, I don't know what in the world is going on here. Why it's dark like that on this end. Um, I'm hoping it was just because of the mold. And maybe it just, I don't know guys. I, and I always try to rationalize like what went wrong? What did I do? What was my process? You know. So I don't do it again. So anyway, this is another make of the black soap. Uh, let's get into this. Oh, so creamy, so smooth. 
look at that super white on the inside don't know why it's like that on the edges <laughs> I'm hoping this is not going to this color I don't know I've soaked this umpteen times before and I've never had this problem uh, with it now the only thing that I did different was when I made this soap I did not wait for my live water to cool and I used it to warm my oils so that's the only thing that I did different and I think I used a touch more fragrance this time so maybe that is what the difference is I don't know so that turned out rather lovely oh yeah that's it right there that is it right there stack them up from the back you can watch the swirly swirls as I go yeah so I let this soap sit in the mold for two days um, just because I did not have the time to cut it I was so busy with work we had a snowstorm and as I've said on a previous video you know I work from home a couple of days of the week and a snowstorm came through we got like a foot of snow here in Chicago land area that is fabulous I'm sorry I can't concentrate oh wonderful I love it so uh <laughs> I I was at home that day um, and as one of the perks anytime there is uh, bad weather they'll just tell us to stay home and work from home which, which that is a beautiful thing um, earlier in the week it was bad weather and it was snowing and I got to stay home so I only had to go into the office one day this last week and uh, because of the storm and everybody doesn't have the same perks of working from home there were quite a few people who decided they were not coming and I'm not mad at that you know you got to take care of you before you make a dollar because you can't make a dollar if you did so I'm not mad at that but because we're on the skeleton crew there was so much work that had to be done I started seven in the morning and I did not clock out until after eight o'clock that night stuck glue to my chair getting chewed out by doctors because not only did we have those issues going on you know how it goes with businesses when bad weather roll in that's when all your technical problems want to show his face you know <laughs> So the phone lines are acting crazy. People weren't getting transferred to the right place. Um, you know, that was going on. <sighs> then it just wasn't enough people to get the work done in a timely fashion. You know, people were chewing me out on the phone because they were being transferred all over the world. I was getting calls that I was not supposed to be getting. I'm like, I don't know where to send these people. Let me figure it out right quick. You know, just to try to put a smile on somebody's face on such a nasty day. <clears throat> so yeah, when I got off, I ate my dinner. I played a game on my phone and I went to watch soapy videos, but they were watching me instead. <laughs> okay before I knew it I was out and I have insomnia I usually have a really hard time getting to sleep not this time this soap turned out so gosh darn wonderful I love it yeah so I was I was pooped y'all ate dinner took a shower tried to watch some TV I was not woke up this morning like okay let's find something to do I was just like ready to go <laughs> but it was still cold and 
quite early. It was too early for me to make soap. I didn't want to be making a whole bunch of noise while everybody was in the house trying to rest. My son had to work last night and he left for work while the storm was really getting going real good. People were getting stuck in the snow in front of the house and because of the snow drifts and all of that carrying on. And he didn't get off work until one o'clock. Um, he didn't say what the roles were like when he got off. Um, but you know, I was just trying to let him rest because I'm quite, I don't know what time he got in, y'all. That's how tired I, I was. Normally, when my son is not home, I cannot sleep. I'm just, you know, I'm not satisfied until my baby is in the house safe where he's supposed to be. <laughs> and um, I usually cannot get to sleep, but. I was not, y'all. So that turned out absolutely wonderful, even though the edges is a little darkened and everything. And this one is not quite a whole bar. I may just give that one to my honey. Hi, son. How are you? Say hi to the Earthly Kisses universe. Yo. <laughs> guys so that is the black soap this turned out great oh my goodness love it love it love it so until the next soapy video ta-ta for now stay warm bye